ELM Enterprise Manager includes powerful features that will save you time and simplify the monitoring of your network. In this tutorial, we'll walk through how to deploy agents onto systems with ELM. The sooner ELM is deployed, the faster you will be proactively monitoring your servers. Once ELM is installed, the Agent Deployment Wizard will guide you through the process of adding agents to your environment. You can add a system by name, or multiple systems by Active Directory Search, by an IP range, or by importing a properly formatted CSV file. In today's example, we'll start with a single system, Sales Lab 2. Note the wizard pinged the system automatically to make sure it is available. We will go ahead and add a second system to the deployment by right-clicking to modify the list. You can see that Sales Lab DB was also automatically pinged to check its availability. Clicking Next, scanning will automatically identify the suggested agent mode the operating system if applicable, as well as the ports and system availability. ELM will assign the new agent or agents to the proper categories where it has found a match. In this case, it has appropriately selected the Windows Server category. In the ELM console, you can also create your own custom categories to assign agents to. If we're satisfied with using the defaults, then we can continue on by clicking Next and begin assigning licenses to agents. However, let's go ahead and step back and walk through the advanced mode where we can make further changes or modifications to the default installation options. Here we can change the agent mode we're going to use. We're going to install service agents for this demonstration, but other options include a virtual mode for monitoring Windows servers where there is no installation on the target system and all information is gathered remotely, and an IP virtual mode for monitoring network devices such as firewalls. With a service agent deployment, a listening port is required. Port 1253 is our default, but that can be changed if it is already in use or if you choose to do so for security or other reasons. You also have the option to test your agent server communication here. The local system account is the default the service agent will use. It does need administrative rights to collect events and monitor performance data, so typically local system gives the ELM agent everything it needs. You can use a different account, but it will require administrative rights for the agent to be able to report properly. Next is the share and the path for the install, and cache settings can also be specified here. Caching is one of the resiliency features in ELM, storing data locally when the ELM server is unavailable. For example, if a network link or router was to ever go down between this agent and the ELM server, the agent will create cache files and store the data temporarily at the local system level. As soon as the availability of the ELM server is reestablished, it will push this data through. You can specify the location of the cache here as well as the maximum cache size. Next, we can select categories to assign agents to. ELM will automatically assign most agents based on the scan summary from earlier in the wizard. Here we can modify which categories agents are assigned to. The next step in the deployment wizard is to assign licenses to agents. Here we'll assign a Class 1 core license to Sales Lab 2 and a Class 1 systems license to Sales Lab DB. Each individual agent you are deploying can have a different license assigned based on what you intend to monitor on that system. You can see how many of each license is available and how many are already in use based on the mix of licenses you have purchased. Class 1 licenses are specifically for Windows servers. Class 2 licenses are for workstations and network devices. If you're not sure which license to use, there's a link to a license comparison page. This is the feature comparison chart in the help file, also available on tntsoftware.com. The chart shows the various monitoring features found in each license type so that you can make the appropriate selections for servers, workstations, and network devices based on the monitoring you are trying to accomplish and what your budget will allow. The next dialog shows a summary of the installation options you have selected for each server including the mode, the license selected, and the categories that each system will be assigned to. Clicking Next will begin the agent installation process. Depending on your hardware, network, and the number of agents being deployed, the installation process can take some time to complete and come online. Be patient and let the installer run its course. Once finished, you can now see within the ELM console that we have both Sales Lab 2 and Sales Lab DB installed. The All Agents view shows the type of agents, the version of our ELM installed, and the license assigned to each agent. These Windows servers are now being monitored by all of the monitoring items assigned to the Windows Server category. It's that easy, and it really only takes minutes, not months, to deploy ELM Enterprise Manager. There was no rebooting or restarting, and we are now collecting data and monitoring the health and status of our servers. This completes the Agent Deployment Wizard tutorial. We encourage you to explore our other tutorial videos that include topics such as creating notification methods, working with event views, and how to assign reports, amongst other useful tips and tricks. Thank you for watching.